Okay, so this video here is on how to make the ash pan. The main uh, pan itself is made from 2mm mild steel cold roll, and the front face on the one on the photo is 3mm mild steel hot roll. Uh, the two dials on the front have been laser cut from 6mm mild steel hot roll. You're going to have to make those dials yourself. So this video is an explanation on how to uh, make it, weld it all together, sand it up, clean it up, and put the dials on. So you can see here on the screen on the right hand side, the two uh, top faces of the ash pan don't meet up. That's what happened when I folded it on the press. Correcting it with a steel dolly with a square corner, hardened to the base. And using a cross pane hammer to drive the material around the corner to actually line the two tops up. So I got it level, tacked it together with the TIG torch. Couple of blemishes from the welding, nothing major. I haven't overbuilt those corners. So here I'm using the dual action or the DA sander. You can use it in two ways, you can hold it hold it down hard and it will just vibrate or you can put not quite so much pressure on it which will allow it to spin just working all the faces I think the grip on that is about a 60 grip which is sufficient because it wasn't overbuilt Didn't, didn't use a sander or a grinder because I hadn't built the world up that much. So that's it finished. It's got a matte finish on it. You'd build it up with about 40 amps of power if you want, with a bit of wire. So here I've put the chimney on one of the big steel flat tables. You need to put the tray into it and measure from the table to the top of the tray. Uh, worked out it was 106 on the right hand side. I got my scratch block of measuring from the base, putting a line across the actual front face. And then I turned the ash pan upside down and measured across it to work out what width it was. Came out of the 406. You can see the calculation there works out 34 millimeters each side when you put it onto the front panel. Scratch block, scratch 34 millimeters down either side. And there it is sitting uh, on those lines. Just another view. So there's where the welds are going to be, the black lines, just stitch welds. Uh, I've used 1.2 millimeter stainless steel TIG wire there, so not a very big wire. You don't want a big weld. The less uh, material on it, less distortion. Clamp it down nice and tight. Use two or three clamps, even more if you have to. But do it on the steel table, keep it flat and put it back in. If it's not sitting true across that front face, talk to the tutors, we can level it for you. So in order to put the dials on the front, uh, you can see that it's got a M6 cap screw going through the front face. In between the dial and the front face of the ash pan, I've got a 6mm flat washer just um, sandwiched in there. It actually allows a little bit of space to turn the dial, and on the back face it's got the spring washer in the nut. Uh, the pin uh, I cut them at 35 millimeters long. You'll have to weld yours in. Uh, because it was laser cut, I was able to tap mine in with a hammer. They were nice and tight. So you'll have to TIG weld yours in or maybe even braze them in. But that's how you're going to put those on the front face. Once that's done, the actual uh, tray is complete and ready for use.